Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're having a glorious day out there. Today I have a box of goodies here that came to us from Dave of Scott's Toys. Ooh. And I was just going to open this up, but I started reading the letter that came with this and realized that you guys 100% absolutely have to be a part of this. Plus, it looks like there's some bonus goodies in here. Yeah, and for some me. things for Clark Man as well. Unfortunately for Clark Man, he's going to have to wait a second here. Before we get into all those goodies, I got to share this letter with you guys. This is fantastic. This reads Greg. We at the Lego Group are aware of your recent discovery of our mastermind, Ivan Von Lego. And although we are proud of the work that Ivan does for us and our bottom line, we fear that you bring him into the light may have an adverse effects on our profit margins. Your T-Fall and K-Fall following is strong, clearly unlike your A-Fall following, as evident by your recent rejection from the land. And if Ivan is known throughout the Lego Children's Court, it could impact our mind control marketing, which targets your fan club specifically. Seeing as how much we know you love Lego, we offer this, peace offering. Yes, peace, not peace. In hopes that we can put all mentions of Ivan Von Lego behind us and let him work his magic from behind the brick curtain. We've included some sets that we hope will stress how importantly we wish for him to stay behind the scenes. It goes on to say, we also understand that Clark has heard of our Lord Ivan and will need some convincing. We've reached out to some of our toy maker partners and have included some fun trinkets, games, and reading material to help persuade him. Our friend Mojang ensured us that by including Minecraft trinkets was a surefire way to brainwa convince, yes, convince him. Should you in any way mention the name Ivan Von Lego again, well, let's just say we'll send our own brick buster to find you. Thanks for your understanding, the Lego Group, on behalf of our fearless leader, Ivan Von Lego. This feels like a setup for a movie. Like the next Lego movie could literally be this. But I do appreciate this correspondence from the Lego Group. It's always nice when they actually do something positive for me instead of just letting me down consistently. But inside the box here, their peace offering, we've got some, let's start here at the top. We've got some shirts, which uh, if Clark Man wants to unroll that, we'll see what this one is. <gasps> A chicken on um Minecraft shirt? <laughs> oh, it's a chicken logo on it. It's the chicken's face on this. <gasps> <Baka! laughs> what do you think? Oh my gosh, Clark is literally gonna become a Minecraft chicken. We got another shirt in here. Another one. Oh, it's a creeper one next. Oh no, Clark's gonna be a creeper again. We in the mall again. Dun, 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 dun. These are right up Clark Man's alley. He's got a dark green shirt in here. A dark green shirt again. This one is a, looks like a tank top. I hope Dave said this one just for me. It's from Ivan Von Lego and the Lego group, but possibly from Dave as well. This one is a muscle shirt is what we call them, tank top. It says hashtag beast. You are a beast, dude. Ah! Look at this kid. Oh, Clark Man. Look at this. Dog Man, Dav Pilkey. This is the guy that did Captain Ooh. Underpants, those books that you really like. Mm -hmm. So now we have some reading material before bed, thanks to the Lego group. It's sort of like a comic book. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. That'd be fun reading. You're going to read that before bed? Okay. We do have some other things in here, too. Looks like there are some balloons. Oh, oh, these are those punching balloons, Clark Man. <gasps> what punching balloons? They have like a thing on the end. You go boop, 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 like that. Mm. Please tell me someone out there knows what I'm talking about. I can blow it up. Yeah, give it a shot. <gasps> so you tie this around what like this. What punching balloon is it? Watch. When do you punch? Us? It's a punching balloon. So you take this. I think you go like this. So you oh. just punch it around like that. Oh, Kyle did it to one of our just regular balloons with a rubber band. Can you turn one into that? Mm-hmm. Cool. So we got a bunch of those. We can have, oh, <laughs> just hit the brick detectors. We can have a balloon fight. But these guys are probably here for some this other stuff in here, which we've got some Lego in here. This is what you came for. That's why this is on this channel. This right here, this is Lego Land set 40166. This is the Lego Land train. And I asked Dave if he could sell me one of these because he had a few of them. And he said, yeah, sure. But and he ended up just sending it to us, which I thought was really nice of him to do. And I like this because it has all kinds of colors on it. And it's got the, almost like the Clark Man Sig Fig from a few years ago when he had longer hair on his head. I think I speak for both of us when I say we're huge fans of trains and even these little cute ones, I just think are lots of fun. And this would look great in Classic Land if the day ever comes that Classic Land is set up there. Backlog must be defeated, but I think it's a cute little train. And I'm hoping I get a chance to build this. I just have one person that's standing in my way. What's the verdict, Clark Man? 
You are building it. Yes, finally I get to build a Lego set that we got in the mail. It's a glorious day. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Speaking of Lego sets that I really wanted, this one right here, let's start taking pieces out. So there's a little mountain piece. There's a mountain piece. Maybe some people can start telling what the set is already. Here's another mountain piece as well. We'll put that on top of there. And then you start seeing things like this. You start seeing pieces of dinosaurs coming out of here. And then you start seeing those pieces. And then you start seeing like neon green pieces of things coming out of here. And then you see some more neon green pieces that kind of look like the outside of what could be a mech dinosaur because that's right. That's what we have in here. This is Lego Jurassic World set 75938. This is, I think it's called Dino, or it's T-Rex versus Dino Mech Battle. And I wanted this for one very particular reason. It's this guy right here. And I kind of goofed up a bit. I did a deal detect post maybe a month or two ago about this very set along with that Lego City set that has the donut on it. And I was like, I'm going to pick up both of these or one of these probably. You guys just need to tell me which one I should get. And it was pretty mixed and I was kind of him hauling around trying to figure it out. And then by the time I made my decision to pick up this set, it was sold out. I goofed up. I did the deal for you guys, but I didn't take advantage of it for myself. Dave had some of these sitting around, I guess, because you know Dave's like a deal hunter and he sells them at his BrickLink store. So he said he would send it over to me and I thought that was so nice. So we got that. More pieces are coming out of here as well for that. Uh, so we have a lot of building to do because this is a fairly big set. I think it's like a, is it an $80 set? Something like that. You have one other thing in here as well. We got Minecraft Uno. Do we have this? Yeah. We have this already. But you know what I say, Clark Man? What? You can never have too many Uno cards. You know what else I say, Clark Man? What? I'm gonna make you draw four. Mm -hmm. Every day, draw four, draw four, draw four. Change the color, skip you, skip you, draw four, Uno, win. That's just how I do things around here, guys. Mm -hmm. That right there is the haul from Mr. Dave of Scott's Toys, sent in an official Lego box. Classy fella, sent all this stuff to us for free, which is amazing. Like, I had no idea all this was in here. I was thinking it was just gonna be the the dino set because that's what we talked about. I sent Dave a webcam that they needed like uh, back when the pandemic started because I have like mobile webcams that I'm not using and they needed one. They became hard to get so I sent that and he sent this. It just becomes like a thing where friends help each other out and I think I owe Dave at this point because he sent me way more than I sent him monetarily here. Mm -hmm. So we need to find a way to get back at Dave to pay him back for all this. Mm -hmm. What do you think we could do for Dave and Scott to, to pay him back? Um, let's send them something from our backlog. Okay, well, Scott, here's the deal. If Scott's watching this, I don't know if he is. Scott, you can choose anything that you want from the backlog um, here. Like this, you can have this. <laughs> you little cheapskate. Anything you see here, Scott, if there's something that you like from our backlog, except for that duck, please don't take my duck. Uh, anything else that you see here that you'd really like in the Batmobile and the Bugatti. <laughs> okay, it's a little limited, but uh, if there's something you see, let's just say in this area here, let me know and, and we'll send it out he, to you. He he's has, like, I'll take the Bugatti. He's like, I'll take this Minecraft set. Well, that's, we'd have to send him something else on top of that. He's like, I'll take Assembly Square. I'll take the Brick Bank. I'll take the Parisian Restaurant. I know Dave well enough to know that he'll say, no, no, don't worry about it, but I'd like to do something for you guys. So just let us know. And in the meantime, we're gonna be enjoying these builds here mm -hmm. and enjoying the book, enjoying the shirts. You guys will be seeing Clark Man dressed as a Minecraft chicken and also as a creeper and also as a beast, which uh, he's pulling off right now pretty well. So on that, guys, we hope you have a glorious rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching this little Holly haul that we did here. Thank you, of course, to Dave, Scott, Lori, Luke, the whole fam. Thank you guys for sending this over to us. And for everyone else, we uh, hope you have a glorious rest of your day. And as always, see you in the next chicken video. Baka! Baka! <laughs>